Hey, this is Steve, the 6WZ. The Nine Circle receive array developed by John W1FE and sold briefly as a kit by DX Engineering years ago is still a popular array today. I've published a few videos on how to homebrew your own array, but I've often had questions about what kind of performance can be expected. In this video, I want to demonstrate uh, at least one example of what can be expected. The array is really uh, just a three-element end fire array with 60-foot, not as shown here, but 60-foot uh, inter-element spacing and yields an excellent uh, directive pattern uh, that is uh, shown here and closely resembles that of a uh, single wire beverage. Uh, using my Kiwi SDR radio and the S meter uh, extension, I'm going to use uh, a medium wave AM band channel uh, to show what the front to back can be like. Uh, sure, you know, this is a local AM station and likely it's going to have high angle signal. So this is not necessarily a universal example of what's going to happen uh, all the time. Uh, but I'm using an AM signal because it's convenient and offers a steady and always on signal. You know, like, for example, testing on the 100 and 60 meter band can be a little bit tricky with the fast and deep QSB, especially on DX and usually uh, only intermittent signals. Uh, this is the Kiwi uh, GUI, um, and on the bottom uh, is the waterfall, uh, obviously shown here, and on the top is what we call the S-meter extension. Uh, it's an extension available on uh, the Kiwi uh, radios. Uh, and what here I've circled here the uh, direction uh, compass that's used to switch directions of the nine circle. So I'm going to uh, uh, cycle through this, and we can watch the S meter as we change direction. I'm going to listen to CFAC AM uh, on uh, 960, which is shown here on the waterfall. So you could, as I switch through, you can watch uh, the waterfall change, but mostly watch the S meter change with uh, with direction. Uh, CFAC is about a hundred kilometers southwest of my location. Uh, by the way, I have no radio audio uh, co-streamed with my voice here. I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble uh, setting that up. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to start with the array uh, pointed to uh, the northwest, as you can see here. Uh, this is away from CFAC, uh, or in other words, on the back of the array. Um, notice uh, that uh, right now uh, the S meters at minus, uh, thereabouts minus uh, 75 dBm or so. Um, so um, you'll see here, I'm going to switch then to the um, uh, southeast uh, directly at CFAC, uh, and you're going to see that um, you know we've shot up to 40. Uh, minus 40 dB. Well, that's about a 35 dB uh, front to back, which is, um, you know, <laughs> pretty, pretty impressive. You can also notice the uh, waterfall uh, when I changed it, uh, not only on the CFAC channel, but a few others. Uh, dominantly, uh, most AM signals are coming uh, from the uh, southeast of my uh, location. Um, so I'm going to continue to uh, quickly switch through the directions. Um, and, you know, you can see uh, perhaps the side rejection. Um, and perhaps if you want to study this uh, a bit closer, uh, maybe you could just replay the video a few times and look both at the S meter uh, uh, readings versus the uh, compass direction. Uh, again, remember that the signal is coming um, from, from the southeast. Using a number of SDR radios and various splitters, uh, I have my station set up to route uh, various receive antennas to different radios, including uh, three different RBN skimmers. You know, this way I can also use my uh, receive reports uh, from RBN on 160 meters uh, to compare different receive antennas. Now that's why you might see uh, RBN uh, spots from V6WZ, V6WZ underscore one and V6WZ uh, underscore two. Anyway, I'm hoping this will answer some of the questions I've had from nine circle builders asking if their array is working and what should be expected. 73, this is Steve, V6WZ.